Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Depending on where you are in this world, God bless you. This is Gloria White coming to you from Utah, USA. Now, it seems that this something that is very important in regards to the end of the world as we know it and the return of our Lord Jesus who will come with a rod of iron and the breath of his word and he will um, be kicking butt and taking names. In the meantime, we have a government in charge of countries, 195 countries around the world, who have agreed to give their sovereignty into the hands of the WHO. That's the World Health Organization. And that the WHO would have um, power that could not be um, disputed. It will not be, you won't be able to come against it and say, no, we really don't want to do that. No, we don't agree with you. Um, no will not be an option. Because there is an existing treaty that our illustrious, devious, demonic leaders at some point in time signed us up for. And these are amendments that they're making to this treaty. And they would not need two-thirds approval of our Congress. I'm going to put this article, I'm going to link it in the description box below. And it's really critical that you go and take a look at it and take a serious look at it. And then think about ways that you can stop this from happening. How we can take our sovereignty, the United States of America's sovereignty, and keep it sovereign. How we can maintain our sovereignty as a nation. We know that Joe Biden is a proponent of the New World Order. That he has already said to the world and to the United States, he has announced that the New World Order is coming into place and America would be leading the charge. So we know he is not interested in keeping foreign and domestic enemies off of our homeland or to prevent some type of takeover of our government by a foreign entity that he is gladly giving it up with two hands. He's gift wrapping it and sticking it out the door. FedEx is swiffing by to pick it up and take it over to the who. We need to stop this somehow, some way. We need to stop this. Because if we don't, who can say where, when, how, any medical emergency can be handled. That would include lockdowns, any medications, any um, protocols, um, anything, anything. If they feel like you're a, like a herd of chickens that have a virus and you could spread it to the rest of the herd, then maybe you would be eliminated. We do not know what the limitations are as it stands now and the way it reads. I don't see any limitations, but I'm going to hook it up in the description box for you to look at, read, and decide for yourselves. And always remember, the Lord Jesus is true and faithful. And he said he went to prepare a place for us. And if he goes to prepare a place for us, he will come again for us and bring us to where he is. So, and as always, I love you.